because I just felt like coming along here and just saying, just tell us all your news, because there's so much to go through. Let's start with the lad from Mansfield Town first of all, where are you with him? Um, all but done. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully we can get that across the line. It, it pretty much now it's just um, bits of paperwork. Um, but yeah, he's all aboard. What kind of qualities does he bring to the side? Uh, bring um, a technical ability of this level um, and when we talk at this level we're talking about the top end of this league um, is certainly one of the technical players of this league and uh, bring creativity as well so um, with Chris Clements coming in um, yeah he uh, bring technicality to the group um, where we want to go to and also uh, bring that creativity and he was one we identified for the summer um, but a bit like Gav Gunning, we're really grateful of the board for allowing us to bring him in um, at this opportunity. We've met Kwasi and uh, Jamie today. Were they two players you were desperate to sign once you got the job here? Yeah, I think, you know, it's... Listen, you don't really ever want to go back to your old club and take players, but, you know, the remit of them actually coming to Sully Hill Moors was to use that football club. Um, for the opportunity to get back into the Football League and it was one where they had two options really, one where they could showcase their ability and Football League clubs come in for them or the day if I got into the Football League it was certainly one of those, I, I promised them if they were, if they done well for Sully Hall, there are certainly players I'd, I'd like to take with me and um, I've kept true to my word. Now I know Jamie was in the electrical industry and Aquasi was doing some teaching, so what changes are they going to find becoming full-time professional footballers, do you think? Well, they'll be living their dream. Um, you know, they're 24 and that was the same age when I got back into the professional game with crew in the championship. So I know what today means to them not only to them but to their families and that that dream of always wanting to be a professional footballer you'll see those type of players when they've been at the game and and finally seen their dreams fulfilled it's not just a job and it's not just about you know paying bills this is actually their passion their love and um we've got certainly two very good characters as well as two very good footballers okay well they're in what about players going out i'm thinking about summerfield and Barrett, some of the players that probably haven't figured too heavily in your side well they certainly have them too so um i find it strange you mention those names when they've figured heavily um for me in this period but like listen obviously with you players can't play them all in, can you now you've got new signings yeah we can we can rotate play 11 one week the other 11 the week after you but could. no all joking apart no listen as footballers you want to play football and over you know certainly in this window um, there's obviously going to be conversations where you know of course there's going to be an uncertainty with player arrival so um, there'll be conversations which will stay in house between me and the players um, and after those conversations there'll certainly be clarity on terms of um, those players futures in terms of um, how I see it um, so ultimately they want to play football OK. Uh, what about the team for Saturday, then? You've got all these new uh, signings, bright and shiny, looking to impress. Uh, do they go straight into your squad? Um, there'll certainly be a few home debuts. Um, and for me, can I just say, you know, a big, massive thank you to the supporters as well. Um, you know, they don't realise... Um, how much you know they pay good money to come and watch football matches but for the board to back me and uh, listen we've done shrewd business i really do think it's been shrewd business in terms of the free transfers and then the, the fees we've had to pay that certainly come from the support we've had during this campaign there's been a celebration obviously through the, through the promotion but they haven't had a lot to um, go home too happy about with our home form but our attendances have been well and well and above what's been projected this season so that's allowed us to able to dip into the transfer transfer market um, and get free players over the line so it's really you know with supporters seeing where their money's going and hopefully they'll be happy with the players what are coming in with their money good well we'll look forward to uh, seeing what they provide for you uh, let's just talk about uh, your injury situation how is that looking right now do you think yeah, hopefully we're clearing it up um, and hopefully we'll have, by the end of next week, a, a clean bill of health and a full squad. 
And what about the way that you're going to bounce back after last week? What have you been doing on the training pitch? What have you been saying to the players, Marcus? Listen, it was just a blip. Um, you know, we know what we need to improve on. Um, but I just f felt, and obviously that was highlighted on Saturday, what we need to improve on. But more importantly, we went away from what, what we've been really good at. So it's, it's really important while we're evolving and while we're learning that we never go away from what we're ultimately what we're, we're good at um, so it's been going back to that and it will all be about a result come Saturday not so much um, on the performance it's important like you said to bounce back but bounce back with a result indeed absolutely but this home form of yours I it just seems that I'm almost lost for words trying to explain, you know, normally home is advantage, but it doesn't seem to be for you at the moment. So I wonder what you're going to do to turn that around. Like we've done, bringing players who um, I believe will be brave on the ball. Um, and no matter how it goes, they will continue to get on that ball and their ability was shown through. And um, I think that's what's been the difference. You know, I've looked really into the home form and it's not just been, you know, it's been for quite a few seasons and I'm sure all fans would agree. Um, and I think it's probably the type of player. Um, you need a different type of player at home. Uh, and what kind of player is that? Explain that to me, Mark. For me, someone who's got the technical ability at this level and creativity. Fans want to be excited. Um, you know, I go and watch under 23 football, football and it, 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 it can become mundane. Um, and also, you know, our balance of our squad, we've got a lot of positives going for it, but I just felt it lacked um, creativity. Um, and certainly when teams come to, you know, the BP, you know, just like Exeter, um, you know, they caught us on the break and, you know, they played off our mistakes. So we need to be better on the ball um, and we need some players who can make the difference and get the fans excited. And certainly, I believe if these players who we brought in, like I said, the level of their technical ability is that of the top end of this league and their creativity is certainly top end material as well. One last one for me, if I, if I may. Uh, just a couple of weeks left of this uh, window. Can we expect you, Marcus, to be doing a bit more business between now and January the 31st? I want to. So my message is to the supporters, keep supporting. Your support is massive. Not only, to, you know, we've got to give, give them something to cheer about, but like I said, they don't realise the importance of them coming to watch us and, and the impact that's had in this January window. And like I said, we've been really proactive and that's a massive thank you to the board for supporting us and also to supporters um, for coming through the turnstiles. What do, you, what do you know about Notts County? Are we still rolling? Yeah, um, <laughs> um, yeah Notts County, obviously, Kevin Nolan, you know, they were on a, a poor run of results. Um, but Kevin came in um, on Saturday and certainly you saw his personality in their performance against Mansfield and certainly off the ball, their high energy, their being your faces and their press um, and their look to go early. Um, off stead and, and a lot of a lot of their play goes through him so it's going to be a very difficult game and obviously they'll have that impetus and uh, momentum with a new manager coming in um, and for me that Mansfield performance he's certainly got them going again.